Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Puppeteer Full Tutorial Series for Absolute Beginners. In the last two episodes, we learned individually about how to take screenshot, how to generate a PDF of a given URL. In this episode, I'm going to club all that code together and make it one beautiful uh, function which would, uh, which would do all that work for us. So basically, we'll learn how to generate a PDF, how to generate screenshot all in one go. Let's get started. This is part nine of the series. If you haven't checked out the first eight parts, please do so. Those are the foundation for learning Puppeteer. I've covered everything that you require from ground zero to I'll be covering all the advanced use cases as well. These are the playlists that is in front of you. So I'll be covering all these topics in detail with code coverage. All right. Um, so what are we going to do today? We are going to generate screenshots and PDF also. So let's get started with our coding. So I'm going to create a file first and call it episode 9.js. And as always, first things we do is import our puppeteer and require. All right. So once you have the puppeteer, the next we'll do is write an async function and we will kind of create a pipeline. Okay. So what it does is it will generate or rather let's say I'll come to the pipeline part in coming episodes which are more complex in terms of workflows. But for now let's keep it simple and say capture and generate PDF. <coughs> As always we'll pass the URL, the output file that we would want our data to be saved. Now it's an async, so obviously we'll write try catch and console.log, just the error, or you can say unable to generate PDF and screen. The sequence should be screenshot first and then PDF. So, okay. Now in the try, we'll create a browser instance. Await puppeteer dot launch and headless I'm making false. Creating a page from browser using new page method. Once I have the page, I'm going to tell the page to go to a URL. Let's say HTTP. Again, I'm referring google.com in my tutorial. Uh, the reason simple being that that's much accessible. But in real time, you would give your URLs of your environment, maybe dev, QA or uh, whatever environment you're working with. So once you have it, um, we'll do await and then write page dot screenshot. And here we are going to give the path of where the output path, the screenshot should be right. So for now, let's say screenshot dot JPG. Okay. This is what I'm trying to generate or PNG, whatever you want to generate. Uh, short nine because it's episode nine. All right. And then once you have it, then all you need to do is await same way. You'll generate PDF and here also you'll pass the options path, output path. And I'm going to say format as a four. So see the sequence now. First it will navigate, then it will do a screenshot, then it will generate a PDF of that particular page. Finally, we will close the browser and throw a console message and say, successfully generated screenshot and PDF. Okay, that's all we need. Now we need to call this method. So for that, let's define the URLs. Google.com and replace this with our value, which is URL. Const output path is equal to, and here we'll give the path and I'm going to say Google 9.png or PDF, that's what I want. 
okay instead of google 9 let's say episode 9 pdf and then let's call that and say capture and first is the url second is the output path that's all we will need here we are combining screenshot and pdf together so now we should see two and this is episode 9 so it should episode 9 screenshot okay so that way it will be clear perfect you can also parameterize this and say if you want to pass a different name for the screenshot you can add one more parameter and pass that but that's up to you to run it we'll write episode 9.js and run it it will open the browser do a screenshot generate a PDF and close the browser okay so we see the message it says successfully generated screenshot and PDF you can see the screenshot here Google screenshot oh not this one edit it so screenshot so this is the one that's the screenshot and PDF is by the name episode 9 dot PDF I'm going to show you that in finder and open it and you can see that it generated the PDF of that particular web page beautiful so that concludes our uh, today's episode which is to task was to generate a screenshot and a PDF and see them in action I hope it's clear in the next episode I will show you how to get the source code of any web page that's a very very interesting like I said using puppeteer you can really scrap any data of website you can extract the content you can extract the source code you can do much much more join me in the next episode when I show you how to get the source code of any web page I hope you're learning I hope you're enjoying the series if you are enjoying please do let me know in the comment section or if you have any feedback for me thank you so much for supporting my channel see you in the next episode